My name is Samuel James Price, and every single day I go over crypto, and I talk about it, and I do it, and we chart it. We find new coins. We find new ideas. We find new uh, you know, innovations in the space that really take us to a higher level. Coinbase sues the demand of regulatory clarity, and if you want, you can go over to Twitter, and you can find here um, I'm minting these. You can stand with crypto, and you can mint, all right? And yes, there's 8,709 minted, and this is just the badge to say you stand with crypto to support them suing the SEC. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a symbol of solidarity in the market, something you should definitely do. Uh, I did it. I did nine of them, all right? And there you have it. So Coinbase has sued the SEC, hoping to prompt the securities watchdog to provide regulatory clarity for the industry. They asked for clarity. They never got it. So now they're forcing the judge to say, hey, man, they got to answer this. Like, they got to tell us what they think. They're trying not to do that. They want to hide it from everybody. It's just not how it works, everyone. You got to listen to the people at one point. Um, I love what they're doing. They're standing up and they're putting their money where their mouth is. They're taking a lot of the profits they made off everybody and they're putting it back into this lawsuit to try to make things right I re to, or to make things right. I like what they're doing. Ethereum Layer 2 Network's total value locked hovers at near record high. Data shows everyone is locking that Ethereum up. Why not? And gain that, that, gain that, gain that money based on your ETH contract. So I like what they're doing. Arbitrum, Optimism, so many different plays out there. Matic, I mean, it's just continuing. Arbitrum domination. Arbitrum 1 dominates the Layer 2 scaling landscape, accounting for more than 66% of the market share. Wow, that's a big deal. Uh, you also have Rocket Pool, right? You have L, uh, Lido Dow. There's so much out there. Um, Kerry added that he considers TVL to be a flawed metric because it depends on the token's price shifts. Historically, TVL and token prices rise in tandem. Despite the price fluctuation, Masari's Dunbar sees TVL as a legitimate mechanism. I mean, it shows how many people are in there. And the rising interest in ZK rollups like ZK Sync Era and Polygon ZK ZVM have registered the fastest growing TVL over the past month. It's easier and quicker to do transactions. The rollups make it quicker. More people can do things. When you make tech fast, and that's the thing. Right now, the Swift system takes too long, but crypto takes way faster. How could the Swift system and the legacy system take over crypto? It doesn't make any sense. Why do people do Uber instead of a taxi? Because you have to go outside. You have to say, hey, taxi, can you get here? You put your hand out. You have to stand there. You have to get wet. If it's raining, it doesn't work. Sometimes you don't get it. And sometimes someone gets in front of you and takes your taxi. You're like, hey, that was mine. There's been so many arguments over taxis. I've seen it. Hey, that was my taxi. Sometimes you see someone there. You walk three car lanes and put your hand in front and you front run their taxi. I've done it so many times. I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to do it. It's horrible. That's what happens when you live in New York City. But now you can use the app and your phone for Uber like we started four or five years ago, maybe even six. And you can just call it. You can finish your last bite. You can drink your last cup of tea at the restaurant and you can wave to your friends, spend that much more time with your friends. And so that's the simple idea. Convenience. People pay want convenience and they'll pay more for it and they'll love it and they'll be loyal to it. Cryptocurrency creates that convenience. Crypto is the Uber of the financial legacy system. Uh, the financial legacy system is a cab. Uh, crypto is the Uber. So uh, if, if Uber made it, then crypto is going to make it. That's just a simple comparison to me. And you don't have to get too deep into why crypto is going to be amazing and why Bitcoin is amazing. It's not that hard to figure out. Decentralized exchange GMX connects to Chainlink's low latency oracles following community vote. That's a smart idea. I think that's great. And people don't realize how big Chainlink is going to be. It's an operable, interoperable Oracle, and it connects multiple chains. It does multiple things. I mean, uh, not understanding the ecosystem behind cryptocurrency will also hinder you in your investment. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say to you should be taken as financial advice, but what I am telling you is the more you research and the more you know about these ecosystems, the better off you'll be. All right, and that's the news for you.